at this point you do not want any water in your diesel fuel so let me make that little note there um, one way of testing uh, to see how much uh, diesel how much water is in your uh, diesel fuel is um, when you get it back from your restaurant is uh, take a frying pan in the house and heat it up pretty good on your on your on your house and take a teaspoon of uh, that used oil that you have and put it in the center of the pan and if it starts bubbling and boiling off and everything like that you know you've got water in it which means that you need to take your hot plate and heat up your oil and boil off some of that uh, water you need to boil off as much of that water as you can before you start your biodiesel project because again if you don't if you if you have a too much of a high water content on your biodiesel it's not going to work you're going to all you're going to do is make soap and a mess and everything else and you're going to get discouraged okay uh, my sodium hydroxide is dissolved in my methyl alcohol okay and remember what I told you in the first video if you're not willing to get dirty you don't want to do this because this is by all means a messy hobby here all right I gotta go over and get my funnel hang on hold hold fast there You want to clean this biodiesel. You want to clean this oil as often as you can. Okay, so what I do is I have a filter. From it's one of those filters that you can get at the grocery store for your coffee pot instead of uh, putting the regular filters in it all the time. Well, I'll take that and I set it inside of a big funnel. Let's see if I can get this up here. I set it up inside of a big funnel. And then I'll take a paper coffee filter and I'll set it inside of that. I want to filter this as much as I can. Even though this oil is clean oil and it's only been used once, it's still got chunks in it. Okay, so I, got, I take my 130 degree biodiesel. I'll shut off my magnet now and just pour it in here. You pour it right in right in this two liter container and it's going to take a little while because it's going to go through the filters you know this isn't a fast project this will get all the chunkies out of here and Again, you know, for every little bit you get out of here, is that much less that you're going to have inside your vehicle, you know, whether it be your car or your truck or whatever. Um, while we're watching this paint dry here, another note is um, when you, if you're switching over to biodiesel and you haven't done it yet, and you're going to go and run biodiesel after your first uh, tank, maybe two tank fulls of biodiesel, you need to change out your oil filter your uh, fuel filters biodiesel is more of a corrosive than regular diesel fuel is so what it's going to do is it's going to loosen everything up that was in your gas tank all that sludge and garbage and junk and everything like that that's why they say biodiesel is so much better for a vehicle because it cleans it better it's got it's more of a lubricant than the regular diesel fuel is so you want to go ahead and uh, switch out them filters so uh, you can get rid of all that junk gunk and everything that was in there okay and that's it now so we filtered it you can never filter it too much you always gotta make sure you filter it really well okay okay so there's our there's our biodiesel that's the start okay now what you're gonna do is look for another funnel which is right here and you're going to take your sodium hydroxide and your methyl alcohol make sure it's stirred up okay add the two of them together 
Now you'll know if you screwed up instantly, because if you screwed up instantly, as soon as you hit that stuff in there, it would have turned into sludge. So, so far we're doing good. It looks good. Now you take your cap, okay? I built a special cap. I made a special cap for mine. I made a special cap for mine. I just put a drilled a hole in it and put a drain on it. You'll see why in a little while. Okay, so you mix it up or you close off. And you take it and you mix it up. You literally shake the heck out of it. You can see it, it'll turn mushy and cloudy and everything. Do this for about four or five minutes. You want to shake it up really good. This is your this is what's gonna separate this stuff and clean it and everything. So just keep on shaking it. Keep on shaking it up. And we get that stuff mixed up really good. Go in circles, forward and backwards. And as you're doing it, you'll see it go from like a, a cloudy, cloudy, and it'll change its, it'll change darker and darker. See how it's getting like darker? It's almost getting like clearer now. So it went from a real foggy, a real foggy color to now it's starting to get some more density to it but shake it up pretty good now what's going to happen keep in mind now this thing is hot so the container is going to start collapsing because it's hot okay so i'm going to let this go you turn it upside down like this i just use a piece of pvc pipe and i let it sit in there then you'll, all them bubbles will disappear, and this will sit here for about a half an hour, and you'll see it will change colors as it goes. What the world was that? Oh. You'll see it change colors as it goes, and uh, it'll, you'll see it get lighter up here and darker as it goes down. So we're going to go ahead and let that sit for a couple of minutes, and then I'll come back and restart the video again and uh, show you uh, what it looks like as it's going so this is uh this is one of the tests one of the uh, parts of the making your biodiesel this is your test batch this is going to let you know if the formula that you figured out was right for when you go to make your 50 you know your 30 40 50 whatever you decide to make so i'll go ahead and pause this for a little bit and i'll come back in a little while